Welcome back to Behind the Lines, I'm Graham Knight. Coast Guard and Merchant Marine have met 50 times, but this past weekend was the 41st class to see who would claim the Secretary's Cup. The Mariners brought a 7-1 record to New London. By contrast, the Bears were riding a six-game losing streak. And the Mariners wasted no time behind the triple option offense directed by quarterback Ian Blankenship. On its first drive, Merchant Marines went 71 yards in 5 minutes and 46 seconds, capped off by an Alex Kiernan 3-yard run to make it 7-zip Merchant Marine. And the Mariners never looked back, scoring on their next two drives, first on a 9-yard Matthew Savard touchdown dash, the first of two on the day, and then a blanket ship to Towson Smith 45-yard touchdown pass to make it 21-0 in the first quarter. For their part, the Bears couldn't muster any offense, punting three times and being intercepted once in their first four possessions. Coast Guard had only 29 yards of offense in the first period, compared to the Mariners' 168. The Mariners added another score before the half and led 28 zip at the break. The Bears got on the scoreboard in the third, but Merchant Marines put up three more touchdowns in the second half with drives of 64, 71, and 58 yards twice on the ground and once through the air. For the day, the Mariners put up 435 yards rushing and their tops in Division III running the ball this season. The 49-14 final score added one more win to Merchant Marine head coach Mike Toop's record as he prepares to retire after this week. But most importantly, as a Merchant Marine alum, it was a chance to sing second in his final Secretary's Cup. I think that's what's just awesome about this game. As I've said to everyone, it's, it's, it's the Army-Navy game. It's with smaller guys at a smaller venue, but from an intensity standpoint and a will to win on both sides, it's unparalleled. The Mariners concluded the regular season with an impressive 8-1 record, second place in the new Mac. They averaged more than 46 points per game and took their only loss on the year to new Mac champion Springfield. On the flip side, it was a much different story for the Bears as they end the season 2-8 and eight and on a seven-game losing streak. But C.C. Grant, finishing his first full year as head coach, is looking to the future potential of his squad. So we got some kids coming back, um, and I think they, they start, to get to, and start to understand what it's going to take to get to the level that they want to get to, that we need to get to, uh, the work that they're going to have to put in to do that. So the future's bright. You know, uh, it, you, know you take your lumps sometimes, you look up the scoreboard, and it doesn't work out in your favor. Um, but these kids are determined. But I think it really speaks a lot to what we have going, the, we have, the foundation we have going this year and the next year. We have so many key components, you know, and it's just the guys are coming together. And the more that we work together and you figure out where we belong and what our jobs are as a unit, we're going to be fine. And we just, we're just trying to figure that out this year, but I think we have it. And just shout out to the seniors because they showed us the most, most love and the most leadership I've seen in my life. Oh, and by the way, Coach Toop and the Mariners will have one last shot on their gridiron this season. Merchant Marine will take on Western New England University in the New England Bowl this coming weekend, which will cap off a long distinguished career. And when Behind the Lines comes back, we'll hear more about the life and times of one of the most successful coaches in Merchant Marine history as he wraps up a 40 plus year career on the sidelines.